Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Um, I thought I would just do kind of like really casual vlog. I don't exactly know what I'm going to talk to you guys about specifically today. I've got a bunch of things that I've been meaning to film and do and say. Um, right now, cutting up a pizza. One of those Costco frozen pizzas that I bought in my last grocery haul. Check that out. <laughs> Kidding. Um, because we're having a lazy lunch today. <laughs> guys, we're almost done school for the year. Um, like this year for the, the calendar year. Because we planned to do school, do school for up until November. So the end of November is our last um, school time, week. So we have two weeks left. And then we are taking a big break for baby time. We're taking a month and a half off um, for like Christmas and baby. And we're just so lazy about everything right now. Like nobody's really into it. We're really half-assing things, which is fine. This happens like it's a phase of life. I'm not worried about it. Um, so like our school days are super casual right now. Um, we're just like chilling. And so I'm making a pizza frozen pizza for lunch because it's two o'clock and nobody was hungry at like normal reasonable lunch time and then lunches we always struggle with unless i find unless i have leftovers i find lunches so hard because i feel like nobody ever wants to eat the same thing for lunch i don't know and sandwiches are boring it's a struggle the struggle is real so frozen pizza to the rescue because right now I am stocking the freezer for birth and for well for po postpartum I take 40 days of rest I'm gonna be talking about that later more um so I've been doing like a mix of cooking extra like batch cooking batch baking but also stocking the freezer with like freezer items so um I feel like we're starting to get a good staff Okay, we paused for a lunch break, but I just want to kind of talk about this because I know there's other pregnant people out there watching these videos. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of inventory and I'll talk to you guys about it in a second. So some of this stuff, like obviously I'm cooking and baking for freezer stock, but something else I do that's really, really handy is I will go to Costco and buy muffins, banana bread, things like that. And I will cut them all in half, saran wrap them, and freeze them um and then the kids can just pull them out whenever like we pull out several at a time and just let them defrost in the snack basket and they taste just like we just bought them which is super handy um i noticed though Mackenzie wrapped <laughs> the last ones and they were not really staying wrapped so i'm just putting them in freezer bags again you guys know like i'm not a big fan of doing a ton of plastic but at the same time, right now, my priority is getting ready for baby. And if that means I'm double plasticking things right now, so be it. Um, so this way I don't lose things in the freezer. I need to get a couple of baskets for the freezer. So I've been filming, or I've been filming. I've got frozen pancakes. My kids already ate through a bunch of these in a whole, like one whole bag in some of these. Um, but these microwaves, super easy. These are chocolate chip banana pancakes. So I'm just trying to keep everything organized. Also, I'm going to Costco tonight, so I need to know what I need to get. Um, this will tell me that we have a ton of blueberry muffins, but maybe a couple other flavors would be beneficial for the freezer stock. Because these are going to be so great while I'm breastfeeding. When... You know, I just get like hungry attacks, way more, all my cravings and stuff, they happen when I'm breastfeeding. I just get so hungry feeding a baby and making milk. So the plan is to just stock as much as I can and try and be creative with what I'm stocking. But this is a tip for if you, like even if you're just busy and you've got kids or you feel like, oh, I want to shop and go to Costco and everything is so bulky and I would, we, I'd have a hard time eating all this stuff. Um, this is a really great way to do it. Like baked goods, bread, everything like that. Buy it in bulk and freeze it. There is, you'll save so much money, honestly. 
and it's less wasteful because I don't know about you, but I hate wasting food, but we do waste food. Um, absolutely we do. It's very easy to waste food. It's very easy to forget that there's a loaf of banana bread in the pantry that went bad because the family forgot about it, right? So actually for stuff like this, like I won't write on this. Or maybe I will, and this will just become the banana bread bag, and these will become muffin bags, and then I'll just keep restocking them to try and like recycle a little bit. <laughs> but it's pretty obvious what this is. Like I don't need to label these, so I can just reuse the bags since there's nothing actually in those. So I'm gonna go pop these in the deep freezer. I think maybe I'll keep this one. I'm trying to figure out what do I keep in this freezer, and what do I keep in the deep freezer because things last longer in the deep freeze than they do here. I don't know. Let me let's take it to the deep freeze and I'll show you kind of what I've got stuck up so far. This is maybe becoming a little bit of a freezer's death vlog. I don't have everything done yet. I have a big list of things I want to do. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how I can trying to figure out how I can one hand that um oh into the cold garage. Okay. Alright, so let's check out. The deep freezer. So it's getting like decently full. I've got cookie bowls in here. We've been eating these, um, so I need to make a lot more. I just put these in pancakes. I've got pizzas. You guys saw me from my grocery haul, like some of the stuff I stocked. But I've made things like this is spaghetti sauce, like a meat sauce. And I froze it in bags like that. We've got bagels, frozen corn, ice cream. <laughs> um, there's those the brownies we bought from Costco last time. We've got like pot pies. So like it's a mix of like things I'm making, like soups and pasta sauces. There's mashed potatoes down there already done and like a mix of like box things and like extra bread. I've got bags of bone broth down here. This is like turkey bone broth. So like we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think that's just what we're going to do today. We're just going to chat while I like do some food prep because I don't think I ever show you guys this. Um, because I'm going and doing a bunch of shopping tonight. Carly, I'm Actually, it's kind of funny. I used to not share stuff like this. Like, right now, these are our snack baskets, and I'm restocking the snack baskets. These are chips from Halloween, still. Um, and from, like, several Costco hauls ago, we're still working on a box of Cheez-Its that Cody and Grayson bought. Um, I used to be, like, I used to not want to share this kind of stuff, because I'm like, ugh. I have junk food baskets, basically. <laughs> like, I don't want to be judged for that, but now I'm like, judge me harder, daddy. I don't care. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I do this every time I'm about to go shopping. I keep boxes of the costco size snacks I buy, um, whatever everybody wants at the time, and I'll pull them out and I'll restock the baskets until we're out and then when we're out of something I know okay I can replace that either with the same thing or with something different and new. I try and do different and new to make them stay interesting. These are a huge hit. These cookies are delicious. But this is kind of how I maintain it. So because we've got baby coming I'm just trying to keep everything like super well stocked. I'm trying to keep everybody's tummy happy. We need midnight snacks, we need nursing snacks, we need mom I'm hungry and it's half an hour to 45 minutes till dinner snacks. Oh that's not bear paws. Okay these are granola bars nobody wanted to eat last time. Right. Okay. Anyway, this is how I do it. Like this is how I'm stocking my freezer and everything. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a big list of stuff I want to do. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna freeze oatmeal bakes, slice it, and freeze it. Um, a lot of things like that you can just freeze on a sheet pan, and then pop it in a bag, and they won't stick together, which is very handy. 
Um, like I've got actual meals so I'm gonna freeze, but I'm just trying to like find a balance of like making it easy for both me and Cody, more crock pot meals. But it's difficult for our family because one, we have a ton of allergies with Cody. And then he doesn't eat, well, because of his allergies, cooked foods are easier. Like he can't eat basically any raw produce. Um, but he also doesn't eat cheese. So <laughs> there's so many freezer meals that have cheese or like are really cheese heavy. I've noticed that, okay, no offense Americans, no offense. I mean, I seriously mean no offense. Like I love the Magnolia Table Cookbook, for example. Love that cookbook, super fun. Lots of great ideas in it. But every American cookbook or like recipes that are like based out of America, I find that they're so cheese heavy. Like it's like a brick of cream cheese, Velveeta, what the heck? Like a cup and two cups of <laughs> shredded Parmesan or shredded this. And I'm like, why is there so much mayonnaise and cheese and everything? Like, if you can answer that for me, I would love to know. Is that just like an American cooking thing? I find things are, <laughs> I find in cookbooks, again, like Magnolia Table, great cookbook, American based. Things are like under seasoned and over cheesed. <laughs> and I don't understand the lack of like, the replacement of like heavy dairy products for its spices and seasoning and herbs. It's weird to me. I struggle a lot trying to like look up recipes because I find a lot of them very bland. <laughs> anyway, snack baskets. Now I kind of know that I have space for a snack to restock and I just kind of leave them in here and rotate them until they finally eat them. You guys, this is the crazy that is my nesting. So I didn't even plan to do that all the freezer stuff. Um, and then I ended up washing the entire freezer because it was dirty. <laughs> um, and organizing the spices because the spice rack fell over and it annoyed me for the last time. And so I organized some of the pantry and I cleaned out the freezer. So, and then I like bounced some stuff around between the deep freeze and the little freezer. So right now, this is my freezer. It's like a little sliding freezer. Um, so I've got like this compartment for like meats and stuff veggies and fruits in here, like frozen bananas and broccoli. Um, I still got like the big bags of frozen fruit or frozen veg in the deep freeze. And then this is like miscellaneous, like Mackenzie really likes to freeze applesauce and fruit containers. There's some boba tea in there and my, um, this is my beef liver. And then I just put some like little lunchy bits, that's soup, sweet, uh, sweet potato soup. So I ended up cleaning out the whole freezer and organizing this so I know what is in here so I can restock. Um, we kind of like ate all of, ate through most of our meats before we got the deep freeze. And then we've just been, we haven't restocked on meat yet because you'll notice this year, especially I haven't been buying a lot of meat in my grocery hauls. Um, and that's only because our family bought like, a whole bunch of chickens and um, half a cow from the Hutterite colony that's local to us. So we kind of go over to my in-laws house to like shop <laughs> at the freezer when we need, which like super, super generous of them and super kind of them to let us do that. But they're always like, come pick up some more meat. Um, so because we were doing a freezer switch, we haven't gone and picked up some more, but we're going to do that as well. So if anybody's ever curious why you see me making things with like ground beef and stuff, but you don't see it in my, um, hauls, my grocery hauls, that's why. Um, yeah, so I just cleaned out the whole freezer and now I can figure out what I need for groceries. I can restock now. I'm trying to keep... Still trying to figure out like what to keep in the deep freeze. I'm just trying to keep the deep freeze really organized so that when the kids or like Cody's searching through there, um, especially during my postpartum period, that everything's really easy to find. How type A do I want to be? Maybe I'll make a master list, tape it to the wall of things that are for sure in the freezer <laughs> so that nobody's like, it's not in there. Um, that's something I actually plan to, to do. Like, well, that reminds me of something I actually plan to do for my postpartum. 
Um, so I'm doing 40 days of rest. I will talk about that. Um, but basically for the first week or so, like I really won't leave my room um, for the most part. And like Cody will be home and he'll be in charge of all the meals, which he's a great cook and no issues there. But I'm just trying to make everything easier for everybody, for him, for me. And I need to make sure that I am staying really nourished so that my breast milk is really solid, my supply is good, so that I can get our baby nice and fat and plump. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is maybe making like a master list on the fridge of things that they can bring me. Um, because it's overwhelming for somebody else to try and like feed somebody I find. So I might just like do like a breakfasts and lunches and dinner options and like then snacks that they could bring me so that in the first like week or so when I'm really not coming downstairs too much and I have somebody here being like, what can I get you for lunch today or something? They can just be like, okay, it's lunch time. I'm gonna bring her this and they can like take it out of the freezer or whatever or make it up. I think that will be easier to make sure that I'm staying nourished to my standards while not putting too much pressure on my family. So I think it's like the, I think that's gonna be the best of both worlds and that's kind of what I plan to do. Um, anyway, this turned into like a nesting vlog, you guys. <laughs> Freezer stocking, nesting. I'm about to go and stock up on more groceries, do another Costco run, um, fill the freezer more. That I feel so good after cleaning out that freezer and like knowing exactly what I have and throwing out old stuff that we don't use or that got icky in the fridge. It feels really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was not the most dull vlog you've ever seen. I'm trying to keep normal casual vlogs in between the big Christmassy ones. Just because when baby arrives, we will be doing a lot of like just normal baby days vlogs because it's all I'm gonna be able to manage to do. Um, and so I'm trying to get myself in the habit of just filming everyday stuff. Um, and today is nesting. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Um, I gotta take off and do a little bit of editing before I go to Costco. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing really, really well. I hope everybody is enjoying the beginning of winter, the beginning of Christmas season. Um, I cannot believe we're like, what, six weeks away from Christmas? We're five weeks away from my guest date. He could be here in, what is it now? Like a week and a half, I'm home birth safe, which is just, insanity my brain hasn't hasn't processed that yet um so yeah it's really crunch time i'm feeling it so i'm like this week is like get shit done and shop mode finish my shopping finish buying the last little bits make sure the food is stocked up we just getting ready nesting in full full swing um okay i'm gonna stop talking at you guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you didn't, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, there will be like stock and stuff for videos and stuff coming in the very near future. So look out for those and thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow in my next one, bye. Open sleigh.